Ooh, what's going on guys and welcome to Nice World TV. We actually have a great show for you today. Guys, I want you to actually imagine something. Imagine in a world where you can actually build a complex software which actually isn't slowed down by tedious boilerplates, manual debugging or long tasks while stretched out over a matter of weeks. What if you could actually describe what you need and an army of AI agents turn that into a production ready code, automatically tested, the version and a review ready. I want to introduce you to the one and only Verdant AI. This is a new and ambitious platform aiming to actually transform software engineering by putting powerful AI directly in developers' hands. So you know what? Let's get into it, guys. Hmm. Now the real question is, what is Verdant AI? Don't worry, guys. Nice World's actually going to tell you. So Verdant AI is actually an energetic coding platform built to actually help developers deliver complex enterprise-grade code, not just snippets, but full features, modules, and also workflows. It's been developed by a team that actually includes former tech leads from major firms, giving it that serious credibility in both algorithmic thinking along with software architecture. Their actual core belief is human creativity, design sense, and strategic thinking remaining irreplaceable. Their AI should only be free for engineers from grunt tasks, letting them focus on the most important thing, which is innovation. Let me actually take you through some of the main features I've personally experienced while using Verdant AI. Number one is the fact that it is built for multitasking. With this now, it is seamless multitasking with context preservation, where you can actually juggle multiple projects the way your actual mind naturally works as well. With this now, you have full context preserved across every single task. You can actually switch instantly between code bases, features, and even bug fixes. What will actually happen, the AI keeps everything alive so you never ever lose no form of momentum. Along with that, you can actually run tasks in parallel without interference, meaning intelligent workspaces set each agent works in its own isolated workspace. You can experiment freely, you can test different approaches, you can even merge what works without stepping on each other at the same time. And along with that you have is the parallel agent execution. So your actual personal dev team deploys multiple agents simultaneously across different tasks. What makes one agent takes hours to complete a task, a team completes in a matter of minutes. Complex projects and even 10 times faster. In this actual tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the simple beginner friendly way to actually use Verdant AI inside your own project. So even if you've never actually used an AI assisted developer tool before, this will give you that clear understanding on how Verdant thinks, plans and executes complex tasks. And what actually makes it fun, I'll even include an example prompt from the beginning to obviously make it a bit more lively for you. So step number one guys, what you have to do is to start is actually install the Verdant extension for your actual code editor. So if you're using a Visual Studio Code, open the extensions panel and search for the term Verdant. Install the extension named Verdant for VS Code. This integrates Verdant's task system and agent tools directly into your developed environment. Step number two, next is actually open the project you actually want Verdant to assist you with. So it could be a full stack application, a simple web game, or even even a larger game engine project. What will actually happen, Vernon will actually automatically index your files so that your AI agents understand your project structure, logic, along with the dependencies. Step number three, once your project is actually open, create a new Verdant task. A task is where you actually feel Verdant exactly for what you want it to build. Verdant uses this task container to organize your actual description, generate a plan, and run the agents that carry out all the work. Step number four is actually inside the task description, you will write a prompt for the actual feature you want Verdant to actually create. So let's use, for example, a game style prompt here to actually demonstrate the flexibility Verdant can actually provide you with. So for example, you could put, add a new feature to my JavaScript browser game called Monster Arena. Create a system where the player can actually encounter random monsters while walking around. Each monster should have the name, hit points, attack value, and a simple AI that chooses between a basic attack or heavy attack. Build a battle user interface with buttons for attack, defend, and heal. After defeating a monster, award random loot, include tests for monster logic and battle calculations. A prompt like this actually gives Verdant enough detail to break the job into components which still have the learning room for the design and also the structure intelligently. Now guys, it is on to step number five. Before writing any code, Verdant will create a detailed plan. This plan outlines which files will be actually created, which existing files will be modified and how the monster system 
will be organized. What the actual user interface structure will look like and how it actually tests when actually being implemented. This step is absolutely crucial guys. Reading the plan allows you to actually confirm that Verdant understands your intentions. If anything looks off, maybe naming convention, a file path or the way the AI logic is actually structured, you can actually edit the plan before any code is actually produced. Step number six guys, when you are happy with the plan, go ahead and run the task. Verdant will actually create a new workspace branch and begin executing each step. Its agent will actually write the monster encounter logic, it will build a battle system, it will generate a user interface code, it will implement an actual loot rewards and it will write test cases for the battle merchants. It will then actually validate the code, analyze dependencies and prepare a summary of everything when it's actually produced. Step number seven guys, after Verdant actually finishes, it actually provides a clear summarized code difference where you can actually review the output line by line. This is the moment to actually check the logic, make sure the monster's AI obviously behaves the way you want it to actually behave, confirm the user interface is actually structured correctly and verify that the tests are actually what you're looking for. If everything looks good, merge the branch into your main development line and your game gains a brand new feature with minimal effort guys. But who is actually Verdant AI really for? The truth is it's for a range of different people and could be for everyone but let's be a bit more specific. I would say it'll be excellent for startup teams or solo developers. The reason why because it has that rapid prototyping which becomes much easier. Instead of actually spending days or weeks coding the new feature you could actually prototype, test and ship very very fast. Also it is for large enterprise code bases. The reason why is because you have some real feature addictions, you have them cross module changes, or even bug fixing across services. The tasks that usually require many engineers and much time could now be handled more efficiently using Verdant AI. Along with that, for open source and community development. So this is very good for when it comes to easier onboarding, contributions may no longer need to actually be deeply understood for their entire code bases before making meaningful changes. They can actually rely on AI to actually help navigate complexity, which is the most important thing. And lastly, the bigger picture, Verdant actually represents a shift in how software actually gets built. Now just faster typing by investing in human time in creative problem solving, architecture, design and also future direction by letting AI actually handle the overall routine. Verdant AI isn't about just replacing developers, it's about amplifying what developers do best and that is the creativity, the architecture, the vision. By automating all of these things, the tedious parts of coding, Verdant actually frees your time to actually build faster, push boundaries and focus on them real big explosion ideas. So if you are a developer, engineer, or someone actually curious about how AI is actually reshaping software, Verdant is definitely worth you taking a look. So guys, make sure you look in my description below, head over to the website and get started. Because I'm telling you now, it is a crucial time to get onto this. Because when I actually came across this, it absolutely blew my mind. Because I know times are changing, things are moving more faster, and the most important thing is efficiency. And using Verdant AI, it can definitely help you with that. So guys, like I always say, nice world TV, we're out. See you later, guys. Head over there.